Fridges have been dumped under a bridge in Grimsby. They were fly-tipped in the new cut drain under the A180 and now the task is on to clear them away before they pollute the water. The drain's home to a lot of wildlife, including water voles and kingfishers. North East Lincolnshire and the Environment Agency are now liaising uh, to try and sort the problem out. And uh, Mark Lawless is uh, one of the freshly comrades who regularly go down and clean up the rivers and rig- riverbanks. I spoke to him earlier and he described the scene for me. Well, it's just 15 fridges that have been painted on, pulled apart, smashed to bits, just discarded over a, the old area underneath the bridge. And uh, in the water, along with trolleys as well, there's always trolleys. Um, so, yeah, it's just absolutely chaotic, really. Just bits of waste everywhere. Sounds sounds terrible. And th- this is a, an environment that you are trying to protect. Yes. Well, it's not just me. There's quite a few others who do care about this place. But as part of the Commerce, we do try to keep the waterways clear and clean. But there's other people around Grinsby and Cleveland who do litter pictures. There's a lot of people doing great things. But it's just a few that let it down. Yeah, it must be very dispiriting. Well, we'll we'll, we'll never give up. We'll never let them win. Absolutely right. That's the spirit. So, in terms of in terms of these these fifteen that have been dumped, I, I, I mean, what are your suspicions on this? Is, is this one person? Is this perhaps a trader or someone who uh, is is shifting waste for a living, or is it a series of people that have dumped them in succession? Well, I rang up to get a fridge cleared myself from uh, Paul. Paul Green, and he is a licensed waste carrier. And he said it cost him around 55 quid because wherever they could dispose of them legally, they're charging £35 for the, a fridge. And obviously, he's got to get, take his costs into consideration. And he actually advised me to give to the council because it'd be like 17 quid. So, <laughs> right. my so- suspicions are the waste carriers are taking them and then they're going to disperse them legally and they can't afford it because the they've undercharged. I see. So this is an opportunity to, to either cut corners and increase profit margins or, or you know, as you say, um, the, the onerous costs to bear very, on... Yeah, on, very on... lightly. Yeah. Well, it's, still, it's still not acceptable, of course. It's not. And it's not. It, is it happening more often now, these rules are in place? Uh, well, if you, if you walk around Grinsby and Cleveland, you'll just suddenly find piles of rubbish, alleyways rammed full, hundreds of trolleys just discarded everywhere. So nobody's taking any responsibility for these things. It's it is disheartening, but you can't give up, can you, James? I hope not. What what do you think needs to happen? Uh, well, people need to be responsible for their own rubbish for a start. But if you're paying somebody who's telling you they are licensed, what what more can the pay people do? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as an individual. Um, uh, but what, what would be the process in terms of prosecution in, in this case? I mean, can these fridges be traced back to their owners? Well, I think that'd be unfair because they might have got rid of them in good faith. But yeah, well, and people usually do, don't they? Yeah, obviously they can find out who, who they paid to take these away. But again, they can just deny it, can't they? Yeah, no, I just wondered if there was much of a process in, in terms of oh, being I'll, able to. I'll, I don't know. I don't know the, the do's and don'ts regarding the law, James, but I, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So so what's the plan now? Now you've got these, these fridges uh, here uh, causing a blight. What what are the next well, steps in terms of getting it cleared up? Well, if the council and environment agency can't come together and get them out, then we've had an offer for some magnet fishers from Leeds to come help get them out. But then we'll li- liaise with the council. and We can take them down to the tip, which is only 200 metres away from where they're dumped. 200 metres, blimey. <laughs> Litter in general around the town is getting out of control. It's, sometimes I feel like I'm living on a rubbish dump. Do you really? And, and I mean, because I, I mean, I've covered stories about littering um, all over our patch, and I remember doing a piece with Councillor Steve Besant a while ago, and, and he took me to an alleyway that was absolutely covered in it. I think it was, I can't remember which estate it was on now, somewhere around the Nunny maybe. But anyway, the, the well, point is that. It, still is. Yeah, exactly. Is it getting worse? Yes, it is. There's an alleyway across from where I work that is nine foot high and at least 15 to 20 foot back high of rubbish. Now, who's responsible for that? Well, ultimately the council, I suppose. Well, no, it's private alleys. It's landlords. These landlords have these tenants that come and go on short notices, leave scrupulously, and then they get rid of all the goods and they just chuck them down the alley. 
And is that the landlord chucking them down the alley or, or tenants well, not taking responsibility for their own rubbish? I don't want to point fingers, but that's what a yeah. lot of people do say. Right, right. Either I've way... I've seen it with my own eyes, but... It's not a good situation. It points to a wider issue, doesn't it? And and you're yeah, saying, it's, saying it's getting worse in North East Lincolnshire. Does does that point ultimately to the council to try and get together and, and do something to sort all this out? Well, it's not always down to the council, I don't believe. I think as citizens, we can all be better. The council can be better, but we can be better ourselves. Yeah. It's very yeah. easy to blame the council, James, for Of course. Everything. Ultimately, we've all got to take personal responsibility. Yes, we have. <laughs> So tell us about your organisation before I let you go. Tell us uh, well, who you are, what you do, who are the comrades. Uh, James Elliott started it, the uh, Canoe River Cleaner. I'll show you where Ah, legend. Yeah, yeah. We've done some yeah. great pieces with him. Yeah. Yeah, that, I was doing litter picks myself, and then we just teamed up, and then there's like nine or ten others. There was more and more people. I'd, I'd do it because hopefully it inspires other people to do it and make Grimsby a, a nice, clean place to live. And is it a bit of a social organisation as well? I mean, do you guys do you guys have some camaraderie and do you get together? Oh, yeah, very often. We've got a, another big green for clean-up organised for the 4th of September on the Willows. OK, so if people want to get involved and find out more? Yeah, well, there's a, if you go on the Facebook and Canoe River Cleaner page, I'm sure he's posted a poster to it. We've got councillors involved and they're actually having a couple of skips brought in. Which hopefully, if that's a success, other wards can then copy it and have big skips. So when I was growing up, we used to have skips in the middle of our estate, and people would take everything they wanted to chuck in into them. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. It does it make does, sense? It? it does. Well, thanks very much for talking to us this afternoon. I hope, Mark, that uh, this all gets sorted and you don't see much more of it. But I think uh, the way you sum it up, you know, new cut drain just just right near the tip. It's it's very sad. Yeah. And I hope thank you indeed. don't see much more of it. But thank you for bringing it to our attention and um, congratulations on all the good work you're doing to try and make a difference. Thank you very much. Since we spoke to Mark, <clears throat> excuse me, North East Lincolnshire Council has confirmed it's investigating and a spokesman's told us... Dumping rubbish illegally in waterways can cause problems such as flooding, damage to the environment and harm wildlife.